Okay, this video is about how to use an 8 gram CO2 cartridge instead of a 16 gram cartridge in the Miller Coors home draft unit. So there's the draft unit and this is the 16 gram that comes with it. This is an empty one. Of course you wouldn't want to do this on a full one. Uh, and I'm not going to actually do it here. But I have this tubing cutter. You can get them for pretty cheap. Uh, you know, like five bucks or something at Harbor Freight if you want. to get the cheap one like I got. Um, and you just, the way it works is you just keep tightening, tightening it down and wrapping it around and it has a cutting wheel that, that can cut the empty, again stressing empty cartridge. You wouldn't want CO2 to shoot out. And what you end up with is a sleeve. You cut the top and the bottom off and you end up with just this empty sleeve that's um, on the outside diameter obviously going to fit because it just came out of the Miller Home Draft unit. And on the inside of this um, unit uh, is going to fit the 8 gram cartridge. So you take the 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 uh, the uh, CO2 holder that just that comes from with, on the Miller Home Draft unit, and you put some pennies in there. I think I counted 13, and you slip the sleeve in there. Now that's converted to fit this smaller 8 gram cartridge. Now why bother with 8 gram cartridge? Well, as it turns out, 8 gram cartridge. The pricing I've seen is about 40 percent more for gr per gram than the uh, 16. Um, 16 gram one. So by the gram, it's quite a bit cheaper. It's a little bit loose in there, but I think it's going to work. Actually, I've not actually tried this yet, um, but this is this is uh, my. I'm getting ready to to uh, to uh, tap a beer, and um, I thought that I would use the uh, use the smaller ones. So there you have it. Uh, how to put a uh, eight gram one to use. Okay, this is after I've had some experience with using the smaller cartridges. And one time when I stuck it in there, the, the, because it was loose like that, um, the, the lip of the, or the, the, the cartridge uh, caught the lip of this rubber and bent it over. And of course I lost the CO2 that was in that cartridge. Uh, the next time I stuck it in there, I was really careful. I actually stuck the cartridge in gently and then turned the thing. But rather than do that, I thought I'd just see if I could get the play out of the system because look at how much play is in there. That's really um, way too much. And, you know, if you're just sticking a new cartridge in, um, uh, you might catch the lip of that rubber thing. So what I did is I wrapped some tape around it. And this is not a per really a permanent solution for how to handle this, but I think um, until I figured out something better, this is this is what I'm going to have to do. I put some tape at the top and the bottom, um, about I don't know about maybe eight inches or something like that, and uh, I, I stuck it in there. Um, that was as most I could get on there without um, without it catching when I put it in there, but still had a little bit too much play for me. So um, especially when you compared to the 16 gram, that thing almost you can barely move it. I mean it just just barely moves um, and so I wanted to get something a little closer to that so what I did is I had this sleeve that had a little lip on it and it was preventing um, the tape uh, you know from getting in there so I ground that off and with the lip removed um, I could put a little bit more tape around the 8 gram cartridge. Now, the lip is gone see and I can uh, stick the 8 gram cartridge with more tape on it in there so um, once this is in there, you can see the play uh, shortly here that it will be removed um, and we're, um, uh, you know, sort of back to a uh, uh, system that's sort of workable for at least the time being until I figure something else out. So there you have it, nice and tight. 